Welcome to the world where we teach you real English in an easy and fun way. This video is the second part of 20 idioms that you can use to sound like a native English speaker. This video is really going to help you improve your vocabulary and your listening skills. If you want to improve your writing and speaking skills, you can use this video to write sentences using the idioms you like the most and practice saying them. Before we start, we kindly ask you to click on the subscribe button so you never miss out on our valuable content and our channel can continue growing. Your support means the world to us. Thank you. The fourth category of idioms is about challenges and effort. To add fuel to the fire. This simply means to make a bad situation worse. Doing or saying something that exacerbates a problem. Yelling at a person already upset will only add fuel to the fire. Bringing up past mistakes during an argument tends to add fuel to the fire. The next idiom is to bend over backwards. This means to make a great effort to help or accommodate someone. Going out of one's way to assist or to please others. Here are a couple of examples. She bent over backwards to help her friend with the project working late into the night. The manager bent over backwards to ensure the team had everything they needed for the presentation. Idiom number 14 is to bite off more than you can chew. You can probably guess what this means. It means to take on a task that is too big or committing to too much. So accepting responsibilities or challenges beyond one's capacity. I think I bit off more than I can chew with this project. It's more complex than I anticipated. Don't bite off more than you can chew by volunteering for too many tasks at once. Number 15, to get one's head around something. This means to understand something challenging, making an effort to comprehend a difficult concept. For example, it took me a while to get my head around the new software, but now I can use it confidently. He's trying to get his head around the idea of artificial intelligence. Idiom number 16 is pull yourself together. This means calm down and act normally to regain composure and control over emotions. It's usually said when someone is agitated or stressed out and you want to encourage someone to stop being upset or distraught and compose themselves. After receiving the bad news, she took a moment to pull herself together before facing the team. It's essential to pull yourself together before an important presentation. The next idiom in this category is to step up one's game. This means to make an effort to improve or perform at a higher level, encouraging someone to enhance their skills and efforts. With the new competition, we need to step up our game to stay competitive. If you want that promotion, you'll need to step up your game at work. Idiom number 18 is to cut somebody some slack. This means to allow someone some leniency or forgiveness. So not being too harsh or critical, considering the challenges someone is facing. She's going through a tough time. Let's cut her some slack if she's not performing at her best. Oh, cut me some slack. I'm still learning how to use the software. Fifth and last category, information and communication. Second last idiom, to hear on the grapevine. It actually has nothing to do with nature or plants. It means to hear information indirectly or through rumors. So learning something through informal channels or gossip. I heard on the grapevine that there might be changes in the company structure. Don't believe everything you hear on the grapevine. Rumors aren't always accurate. 
Number 20 and last idiom is to sell someone out. This means to betray someone by revealing their secrets or to let their secret out. Acting against someone's interests often for personal gain or to avoid trouble. For example, he sold me out to the boss by revealing our plan. Judas sold Jesus out to the authorities for 30 pieces of silver. Right, those were our 20 idioms that you can use to sound like a native speaker. We've got some homework for you. Write in the comment section sentences using your favorite idioms that we talked about in this video. And if you'd like to add some sentences with additional idioms that you have heard native speakers say, then feel free to do so and we can all learn from each other. That's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope you learned something useful. Remember, mastering a language is all about practice and perseverance. So keep practicing, keep learning and don't be afraid to make mistakes. That's how we grow as learners. And remember, as we say in English, practice makes perfect. If you like this video, please hit the like button and we hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching.